Hey, we're Landon and Kins, and we're continuing our Mediterranean cruise vlogs on Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas by stopping in the ancient city of Ephesus, Turkey. Since we're on a cruise and we've only got so many hours to explore a destination, we're going to show you how we got the most out of our day in Ephesus. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to click that subscribe button. Welcome to Turkey. Turkey, hoş geldiniz. <laughs> if you're only able to spend one day in Turkey like we were, I would highly recommend booking a private tour. We booked our tour through Viator and we will drop the link in the description below. And the total cost of the tour was only $150 for both of us. Also, if you're booking this tour, ask for Gorgon. He was our tour guide and he was absolutely amazing. One fun fact about Turkey is all of their tour guides have to have a college education. So Gorgon was super knowledgeable and we really enjoyed hanging out with Gorgon all day. Do you know what we're eating? No, it has cheese in it. We got this little pastry thingy from the gift shop at the Mary house. <laughs> it's pretty good. Our first stop was at the House of Virgin Mary. Many scholars believe this is where Mary, the mother of Jesus, spent her last years on earth. Obviously, touring the ancient city of Ephesus has to be number one on your list when visiting Ephesus, Turkey. And one of the perks of having a private tour is you're dropped off right at the front entrance and you walk all the way through the city and you're able to be picked up at the back entrance. One thing that Gorgon taught us is that the city of Ephesus is still a live excavation site, so they're still discovering ruins today, which is really cool. So fun fact, right here behind us, the town center of Ephesus, and Paul was actually arrested here. For trying to preach. Yeah. One of the cool things about booking a private tour in Ephesus is your lunch is included. And so we did not have to pay for lunch here, but it was some of the best food we had on our trip. One thing our guide just taught us is that it's part of Turkish culture that when you order a meal, you get a salad for free and you also get a cup of tea for free with your meal. Delicious. <laughs> Pretty good. 
we're eating a traditional Turkish dish called pide, which is sort of their version of pizza, and it is delicious. It's so good. After lunch, we traveled over to the Basilica of St. John, which is where many scholars believe that the Apostle John is buried. So the Basilica was actually shaped like a cross. This is the longer side, and then this is the shorter side. Another perk of doing a private tour is your tour guides are able to take you to some of their favorite local spots. So Gorgon took us to this really cool pottery place called Furka, and Mackenzie was actually able to make some pottery herself, which was both cool and hilarious. We were also given a tour by the owner of Furka, and of course we had to buy a few things before we left. No Bluetooth. You don't need any electricity. Okay, so this next stop, I had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Gorgon had told us all day that we were going to some fashion show, and I guess I just didn't believe him that we were going to actually have our own private fashion show, and I definitely didn't believe that I would be a part of this fashion show. After I made an absolute fool of myself on the runway, we were able to be given a tour of the leather clothing shop, which was really neat. So thank you, Gorgon, for taking us to all of these amazing places. These are the ruins of the Temple of Artemis, which is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Okay, so our guide, Gorgon, has dropped us back off at our ship. It was amazing. If you're coming to Turkey and you want to hit all the sites, Ephesus, all the things, definitely book a private guide. He picked us up at 8.30 and dropped us off at 4. So that's what, just shy of 8 hours. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely book it. We booked it through Viator. We'll drop the link in the description below and ask for Gorgon because he was amazing.